Hey guys, in this video we are going to learn how can we upload a file to a GraphQL endpoint. So first I'm gonna upload it using Postman and then I'll show you how you can accomplish the same in Cypress. Now guys, uploading a file to a GraphQL endpoint in itself is a complex topic and what makes it more difficult in Cypress is we do not have a direct way to work with multi-part form requests. So there are some prerequisites guys. Now there are two playlists that you will find on my channel on Cypress. Okay. Now, in more on Cypress, there are two videos that you have to watch. This one, Cypress, how to make GraphQL API request. In there, I have performed CRUD operations in GraphQL. And then the next one is in here, I have intercepted the GraphQL request that we make from the front end. Okay. Now the other video that you have to watch is in my first Cypress series and in there you have this part 25. So in there I have worked with HTTP REST. I've showed you how you can upload a file. Okay. All right guys. So let's get started. What I've done is I have created this public repository and in there, you know, you can download this project and then you will have a working GraphQL endpoint server running for you and you can then upload files using this server okay so it's a very 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 basic graphql server there are no validations in place i'm not even checking for the valid file types i'm not even checking for the maximum size and all it's the bare bone that you can imagine okay and the only purpose is to make ourselves aware of how we can you know upload a file that's it okay so guys, this is your project. Okay. I'll just quickly go over this. So like I mentioned in my um, videos that I suggested you, there are some type definitions that I've created. Okay. So one type is of uh, type file. Okay. And uh, it would return us URL, which would be a, a type string. Okay. And guys, there are two mutations, single upload file and multiple upload files. Right. So I, I just, you know wanted to cover both because the way you're going to set up these requests i mean that's the actual thing once you know how to set up these requests i mean you're good to go you can use it anywhere right so in single upload file as the name suggests you are going to upload a single file and in multiple upload you are going to upload the collection of files okay now um, in these methods i'm simply uh, just reading that request information from that information i'm fetching the file and then i'm just storing that file under this file upload folder okay and the outcome would be what this url this is what you're going to see in there okay and same is the case with uh, multiple file upload all right so guys you have to download that and these are all the package uh, dependencies that you require to uh, bring the server up all right so you install this by using the command npm install and then you run the command npm start so the server is already running in my case all right now guys you have to open postman so in here i have created these two requests one for single file upload the other is for multiple file upload and i have already exported okay this collection as well to the same github project i was talking about okay because it's a complex part and you know i just wanted to provide you as much information as i can okay so guys you have to select form data all right and then these are the things that you have to pass now look at this so this operations would be of type text this map would also be of type text, but what is this zero? Zero is of type file, but how does this work guys? So you could see, I mean, this is something that I showed you in that intercept video as well. So this is how you have to form your query. So you say query, what is, a, uh, what is the type of the query? It's a type mutation, right? So we are inserting a file, right? Um, guys, then uh, this is what you have to do. You have to create a variable, okay? Uh, uh, with the name file and it is of type upload okay where this is coming from this is coming definitely from um, the schema in here then we say okay the name of the method is single file upload and this takes in again a file right so we have this file this file has to match with whatever you have defined in here okay like so at the end yes you are also mentioning what do you what do you want to see in the response so we are only returning the url so you say url like so all right then you say okay map and you say okay the first 
uh, value would be so you are going to pass some variables right and one that one of uh, that variable would be named as file so you say zero this is the first property and then you say variables dot file and whatever is the name of the key in here you just have to add that and then you have to say the name of the file so you you can you know um, when you start it you will see something like this so you just have to open it and you just select it like so okay and guys now if you run this okay so currently like i showed you <coughs> this folder is empty okay so you guys you hit this and okay so we get this in here all right it's a type post let's uh, check that in here so you see this file okay the file is being added uh, or you can say uploaded this is a single upload okay right so now uh, next thing that we are going to do is we are going to look at the multiple one now in multiple one guys again the concept is same you have to say form data and this time the query would be slightly changed right now after this url you are also seeing variables and then you are seeing files and then you pass in these two nulls and then you set those values in here so for the zeroth key right you say variables dot file dot zero and then one variables dot file dot one if you have more files you say uh, two that would be the key and then variables dot files dot two all right and then you add those files in here that's it so you have zero and then you have one and two okay so since i'm uploading two files so uh, that is the case now i if i click on send right i get this kind of response and i if i go to the uh, project folder so in here now you see test one and ye dot uh, png so let me again uh, delete these files okay so so far everything is working now how can i construct a request okay so guys postman is really handy when it comes uh, to this okay so all you have to do is you have to say single file upload you have to go to the code and we guys work on uh, node.js right so we say node.js axios so you just copy this code as it is all right so I already done that so i just take you to that so for that you have to open this test folder and inside that you have the single uh, upload and multiple upload request okay for single upload guys see we are making use of xeos so you have to install xeos and form data but don't worry when you download this project right it's already mentioned in the package.json so when you say npm install even these two things would get installed okay fs is a normal uh, node.js file system module and guys this is the main trick so you create the form data object and in that you append and it's the same thing you say operations map and zero all right and the only thing that i've changed is i have changed this path right it makes sense right postman was showing me the complete path but i've kept the file in uh, under this images folder so they there are three files as you could see so this is a uh, single file upload so you just uh, provide the name of one so you just have to open one more terminal and you have to say node okay and uh, you just have to say what is the name of the file so it's single okay so i hit this okay so we get the response back and the file is guys also uploaded okay as you could see so let me delete this so single one is working same way you have this multiple upload and in here also guys there is no difference like you see see in here we have zero and one exactly what we uh, saw in postman okay so postman is really handy as you could see so now all you have to do is you just have to say node and guys you have to say multiple like so hit enter and there you go so both the files are executed and uh, this is our response okay so let me delete this it's time to do the same in cypress but if you might have realized like you know i executed this using axios library where did that execute it executed in the node.js environment okay does that ring any bell so yes if anything uh, has to be executed in the node.js environment in cypress context right we say cy.task all right so guys uh, let's move on to the cypress code now and uh, let's do the same so in here guys you have to open cypress then uh, inside that you have integration and then you have file upload graphql so in here i have created uh, three test cases right so guys this is the same code that i have already explained in part 25 video okay so i'm making use of uh, xml http request in here the only thing that is being changed is the way you are constructing that multi-part form request okay so you have the same form data dot append method but now you are saying operations map and you are providing the name of the key okay that's the only thing that is being changed and 
this thing is being taken from postman okay that's why i showed you that postman way of uh, working with graphql all right so at the end what are we doing we are saying response.data.singlefileupload.url because this is what we get in the response body and we are checking that the url would be this that's all we are doing okay all right so now you have to say uh, you have to start it right so first thing we have to do is npm test and don't worry this code is also uh, exported to uh, github and uh, this is the current uh, cypress uh, repository i'm working on so you can uh, fetch the code from here okay not an issue and you'll find the link of this in the description of the video all right guys so which one we have to execute we have to say xhr single file upload so yeah let's see all right so the assertion uh, works and you can also check that in the uh, console of this window but that's fine i mean we can we have our own server right we can check it here so you see the file is uploaded yeah all right let me delete that so next test case is guys uh, multiple file upload so let us do that so again the, we are making use of xhr again pretty much the same the only thing is they are nested uh, uh, cy.fixture command because in the first one we are reading the first file okay then we are reading the second file and guys then as usual you know it's the same code that you saw in there okay you just have got two files so you do it like so all right so yeah let's uh, um, click on multiple files okay so as you could see i mean this has also worked all right so our assertion is also working so what did i uh, test for so i tested that this array okay this one and the other one sorry not this one yeah so they are same okay so that too works all right so now guys there is one more way I, I just wanted to show you so you can do all that stuff in here but like i mentioned you know that xeos code was getting executed in the node.js environment so can we do something in um, a plugin index or js file because this is where you create our tasks right so yeah you can do so so i've already again ha have an example for you so you go to cypress plugin index or js and you created a task that's the first thing that we are going to do so we have this module.export guys um, and in here again you could see uh, since we have to work with xus and form data so i've already uh, installed these two dependencies to this project so you also have to do that and uh, then you have created this one task so i'm just going to show you uh, one example right xeo single file upload if you understand the concept right you can uh, build the same for uh, multiple file uploads as well all right so yeah this is my task and this is a function that is invoking let us look at this function uh nothing much since what is xeos guys xeos is the http client library it's a promise based client library all right so what is an http client so postman is an http client your browser is an http client all right i've already talked about this http client also uh, in the graphql uh, video all right so what are we doing in here it's very simple right so we are just reading that file the same thing that you're seeing okay so again this code is copied from uh, postman right for the xeos case and uh, the only thing that is different is you say return new promise and then you have this a sync uh, so i have converted the promise into a sync and a wait like so and uh, uh, just returning the response body all right it's 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 like that let me open the test case so this is what you have to do now you have to say cy dot task and then just you invoke that okay obviously you can take all these things out the files and everything all right so that way you can make it reusable so uh we say cy dot task and then we say then uh, because this is going to return me what the data i'm going to pass it and i'm going to say data dot data dot single upload file because this is what we see in the response okay uh so you, you say in you know, a data dot data dot single upload dot url and this is what i'm asserting okay so it's very much the same you could see in here right so let me save this and uh, we go in here and we say xeo single file upload and this too works right great guys so i hope uh, you you enjoyed how you can upload uh, files to graphql endpoint using postman using xeos using xml http request and cypress as well all right so we covered quite a lot in this video i hope you like this thank you so much